Hey, greetings everyone. I do want to apologize for not being up on the comments here. I'm a day or so behind and, you know, I will get to them. I, I do assure you all, I, I just cannot answer you right now, but I, I will. And I brought this in because I forgot to say it for the video. So, hey, I love you all. Thank you for the comments. I will get to them. I will. <laughs> Well, greetings, everybody. Yeah, that's me when I was uh, a young buck. That was back in 1977, believe it or don't. It's the only picture I got of me that's left from any of the fires. And my niece brought it over to me just the other day. And I do thank you, Jenny, for it. Uh, this is a video I'm not really looking forward to bringing. This here shows the uh, Ontario Parliament here that's being taken place but before we get into the video here and there's another video I have to show you uh, please just realize you know what's taking place here in prophecies and such and what was before will be again so before we get into the videos let's first go into Genesis 47 verse 13 it says now there was no bread in all the land for the famine was very severe so that the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan languished because of the famine and Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan for the grain which they bought and Joseph bought uh, brought the money into Pharaoh's house and it got down to where uh, they were giving their livestock in exchange for food. Uh, so they brought their livestock to Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for the horses, the flocks, the cattle, the herds, and the donkeys, and everything else. And when that year had ended, they came to him the next year and said to him, we will not hide from you, my ruler, that our money is gone. <laughs> already, already collected the money. My ruler also has our herds and our livestock and everything. You know, there's nothing left in the sight of my ruler but our bodies and our lands. Why should we die before your eyes, both we and our land? buy us and our land for bread and we and our land will be servants of pharaoh give us seed that we may live and not die that the land may not be desolate so joseph bought all the land of egypt for pharaoh for every man of the egyptians sold his field because the famine was severe upon them so the land became pharaohs and as for the people he moved them into cities he moved them into uh what you're going to see here shortly and it's not going to be pleasant for some from one end of the borders of egypt to the other end only the land of the priests he did not buy for the priest had rations allotted them by pharaoh and they ate their rations which pharaoh gave them Therefore, they did not sell their lands. Then Joseph said to the people, Indeed, I have bought you and your land this day for Pharaoh. Look, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land, and it shall come to pass in the harvest you shall give one-fifth to Pharaoh. Four-fifths shall be your own. As seed for the field and for your food, for those of your households and as food for your little ones. Now, this was the righteous Joseph, okay? He prepared the way for uh, Israel, you know, I guess you can say. He prepared that path for him because our father used him. Now, in the same token, we have those that are human beings thinking they're going to do greater than what our loving Creator had put forth in His plan for us to do. Give a quick listen. The next question, the member for Lanark Front, Matt Kingston. 
Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Premier. In my supplemental question yesterday, I asked this government if the people of Ontario should prepare for internment camps. In September, the federal government posted a call for expressions of interest for contractors to supply, provide, and manage quarantine isolation camps throughout every province and every territory in Canada. These quarantine isolation camps, however, are not limited to people with COVID, but provide a wide latitude for many people to be detained. Surely this government is aware of the intentions to build these isolation camps from coast to coast. And my question to the Premier is, how many of these camps will be built and how many people does this government expect to do? Question. Government House Leader. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'll just leave it at that point there. Uh, please do watch the video. This is uh, Canada building detention camps to keep people safe. Uh, this is put up by Yankees Journey and Fine Coffee. Uh, please do take a look at this. I'll try to leave a link for you. But as I showed, you know, the people are already bought. They're already bought. But please listen to this very closely. This is uh, entitled Trudeau's Timetable RE Property Confiscation UBI Vaccines Melbourne. Everyone knows your name. Now, the first video was sent to me by Timothy P. Uh, please do look at his videos. So excellent. Uh, I'm telling you, the man is growing in leaps and bounds. And the way he can explain things and the simplicity of it is just astounding. Now, he sent me that first article. Uh, I hope that you'll take the time to look at it. This one I had sent him, which prompted him to send me that article. And I got this here from Ray Ann. Thank you, Ray Ann. Uh, but it's uh, Trudeau's Timetable RE Property Confiscation UBI Vaccines. Melbourne, everyone knows your name, and it was put out on October 25th, 2020. Only 1,856 people have viewed this so far. But just listen to a couple minutes here. Please listen to this, and then we'll end the video. In exchange for acceptance of this total debt forgiveness, the individual will forfeit ownership of any and all property and assets forever. Oh, it's coming fast and furiously. The individual would also have to agree to partake in the COVID-19 and 21 vaccination schedule, which would provide the individual with unrestricted travel and unrestricted living, even under a full lockdown. Ah, oh, what a good boy. What a good girl. They got vaccinated. Now you can come out. Now you can go shopping. Canada's health pass. Yes, passes all over the world will be handed to individuals. As long as they obey their government, you'll get that pass and you can, well, live a limited life because life before that pass ain't giving you that freedom that pass will allow you to travel within your mega region the world is being restructured into mega regions we will have a one world government united nations look at the chaos that's taking place all over the world and boy did I look at it just a couple of days ago just this well I hope that uh, you're listening to this uh, it looks pretty grim for the people in Canada they're planning and implementing these things and that was only up here to the seven minute and 38 second mark where I stopped but I, I started just a minute or two before it's a 38 minute uh, video please do watch it listen very closely because it's not just going to be in Canada this is a theater okay the world is the stage and what they're putting down in 
Canada is going to go to England. It's going to go to America. It's going to go all across the entire earth. They'll be putting in the Noahide laws before you know it. The world's not going to be the same as you thought it was yesterday. Uh, let me tell you that. It's looking kind of grim. But please understand, you know, that what they're doing is they're basically trying to counterfeit the uh, plan that Joseph had used, but he did it for righteousness sake. Uh, in fact, all the riches of the world are going to come to those in the last day to rebuild the roads and everything else. They'll be throwing their silver and gold out into the streets. And before too long after that, nations will flow to the feet of the 144,000. That's what the plan is. This is just showing how it's coming about. They're counterfeiting what Joseph had done. They're going to confiscate everything you own. Big deal you know, if you don't take the vaccine. Uh, it's the only way that they see that they can protect you is by taking everything you have. And of course, they're building these concentration camps uh, for those that refuse the vaccines. Just like where Joseph, you know, had Pharaoh moving people from their lands to places that they were accommodated for, you know, it wasn't as bad as what they're going to do for us here. And I just wanted y'all to know that, hey, I love you. Pass it on if you desire. It's a horrible world we're living in today, I'm telling you. But I do love you. Bye.